Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. In the last session, we discussed in the implementation of stack using single linked list, how to insert elements, nothing but how to push elements into the stack. So, now in this session, we will discuss how to delete, how to delete all the elements from the stack and how to traverse all the elements, nothing but displaying all the elements. See, the stack is some of the elements. So, this is already we discussed some of the nodes we are taking nodes. A stack means what all the elements will be stored in a last in first out manner last in first out and top always pointing to the last node nothing but so here it is finally so what node you inserted the top is pointing to that node here it is node data is a 10 20 30 40 consider 40 addresses 1000 2000 3000 and 4000 so, top always pointing to that last node, last node address is a 4000 is pointing to this one. Fourth node is connected to third node, third node, third node is connected to second node, second node is connected to first node and first node is not connected to any node, this is. So, this is we discussed. Right, this is insertion process of elements. Now, how to delete a node? So, from the stack, we know that all the stack operations we must perform using a top. So, variable is a top. Now, here of course, it is a pointer type. Here it is the name, a function name we are taking delete, or more clearly, we can write a pop. Pop insertion is nothing but push the element deletion is nothing but pop the element right and here it is we know all the operations we need to perform using temporary variable struct node star temp variable temp variable all the operations we should perform with the help of a temp variable only sir what we have to delete so what we have to delete means here it is a top we have to delete. So, into the temp we are taking the value top value into the temp we are taking the top value top value is what 4000. So, 4000 is also pointing to that uh, top node nothing but last node. So, now after deleting the top node top should pointing to the next node. So, which element deleted that we have to print very clearly, but before printing first we need to check whether the node is present or not to delete. Suppose, if temp equals to null or top equals to null clearly, temp equals to null or top equals to null anything you can add because both are same. Na? So, directly so we are printing the message or here this is you can write here also like this. So, first we are checking the condition if top equals to null. So, directly print f no, no nodes or no elements to delete, no nodes or no elements to delete or else or else. So, now the top value we are collecting into temp top value we are storing into temp is a 4000 that means element is there that we are going to delete. So, here it is we are printing that informations what node you want to delete that is clearly printf printf here it is element we are deleting percentage d that is temp to data temp to data clearly we are writing. And next what we have to do after deleting the last node top should pointing to the third node after deleting the fourth node. So, then into the top we should store 3000 so, because the third node address is a 3000, but here it is a 4000, 4000 to link is nothing but 3000 only. 
so top to link value will be stored into top then it stop pointing and it start pointing to the third node this one here it is into the top we are storing top to the link value top to link so so whenever top is pointing to this node we need to delete this fourth node sir how it is possible very simple left side connection anyway already gone lost right side this we need to loss that means here it is we need to place the value null that is nothing but temp to temp to link value will be null we are storing the null value into temp temp to link null value null value we are storing into temp what is the temp 4000 4000 to link is a null now this node is a free node because there is no left side connection and there is no right side connection then that will be deleted simply free of temp we are calling this is else block this is the logic simply okay so first of all if you want to delete the node from the stack of course always we have to delete the top node only because what is the rule of the stack last in first out what you inserted last that you have to delete uh, first so top element is what so fourth element is a 40 we have to delete so first we are checking if elements are present or not if for example no elements and here it is a top equals to null and we are printing the message very clearly no elements or else first the top value we are collecting into temp variable top value we are collecting into temp variable why the reason what node you want to delete that address we are collecting into temporary variable we know that all the operations always we perform with the temporary variables only that is and next we are printing the data so what is the node data so nothing but uh, what is the element you are deleting that we are printing next after deleting the top node top should pointing to the next node top to the link value will be stored into top left side connection we lost and uh, here it is a right side connection now just store the null value in the link place simply null we are storing into temp to link and then free of temp the node will be deleted so here top now not pointing to the third node because third node already deleted is no more now top node is a 30 suppose if they are calling once again pop method same concept now already top is value is a 3000 3000 now it is checking top equals to null or not no so come inside top value will be stored into temp temp value is a 3000 now here it is we are printing that temp2 data temp2 data is more for 3000 to data is a 30 now we are deleting the value 30 and next one top to link value will be stored into top so what is the top to link value top to link value is a 2000 will be stored into top and next one null value will be stored into temp to link here it is temp is a 3000 3000 to link means what here it is a left side connection lost top is pointing to second node here it is a null right side connection also lost you can free now here it is a free of temp so like that all the elements will be deleted at the end so top to next value is nothing but a null so finally after deleting all the nodes so final value null will be stored into the top by that time whenever we are trying to delete the next node here it is a simply top is a null null equals to null the condition is true then control move inside it will print the message no elements in the list nothing but no elements in the stack this is how we have to delete a node from the stack or an element from the stack now how to display all the elements from the stack is nothing but uh, traverse the elements here it is so void traverse traverse and again all the operations we need to perform with the help of a temporary variable so here it is i am declaring a temporary variable 
temp variable we are declaring and here it is a stack once again we are writing with the sum of the nodes. Sum of the nodes we are writing is a first node, is a second node, is a third node and is a fourth node. First node address is a 1000, 2000, 3000, 4000 data 40 30 20 10 fourth node is pointing to the third node third node is pointing to the second node second node is pointing to the first node first node is not pointing to any node so top is pointing to the last node is a fourth node this is we know already we discussed now if you want to display elements right all the elements of the stack first we have to check stack is empty or not if stack is empty we can't do anything so here first we are checking if top equals to null if top equals to null so then simply we are printing the message stack is empty stack is empty so we cannot print the elements of the stack or else or else for example elements are there in the stack then we should start from the top position because last in first out in the same order we need to display first top element will be stored into temp temp equals to top then how to repeat the elements very simple while while temp not equals to null yes temp not equals to null condition true right temp not equals to null the control move inside move inside here it is a temp value is a 4000 because temp what we are storing top value top value is a 4000 so temp value is also 4000 here it is 4000 to data is a 40 that we have to print first printf printf percentage d a slash n simply temp to data we are printing temp to data 40 it will print after printing the 40 next we need to send the control to the next node we should not suppose to delete this is just only displaying the elements traverse the elements it is not a pop the element or deleting the element so temp to link value temp to link value will be stored into temp temp to link value will be stored into temp then what will happen temp value is a 4000 4000 to link is a 3000 3000 will be stored here into the temp 3000 so in the next iteration 3000 not equals to null condition true come inside 3000 to data 30 it will print because node data is a 30 next temp to link value will be stored into temp 3000 to link is what is a 2000 so 2000 not equals to null condition true 2000 to data is a 20 it will print in the next iteration right here it is a 1000 1000 to link is nothing but uh, after printing 10 1000 to link equals to null that null will be stored into temp this is last iteration null now whenever it is checking null value is not equals to null value null value is not equals to null value so then it will fail so it will print all the values of 40 30 20 10 right so this is how to pop an element from the stack and how to display all the elements of the stack whenever you implement a stack using single linked list concept so this is implementation of a stack using single linked list concept node based stack simply we can call these are the operations main operations will perform ok hope you enjoy this video for more videos so please log into narayshati channel thank you